Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at ratios, all right? And it says a ratio is a relation that is used to compare two or more similar quantities. It is the quotient of one quantity divided by another of the same kind, and it is usually expressed as a fraction as n over d or as n colon d, right? where n and d are elements of the natural number set, okay? Now, note briefly, ratios are equal when their fractions are equivalent, okay? All right, so let's just look at this um, example here. We have a, a nice square, and this square is divided into eight sections, right? Let's just uh, put these sections here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections, right? Now, as we can see, there are three shaded sections, right? And there are five unshaded sections. So um, what a ratio would be is, an example of a ratio would be um, the shaded, right? The shaded region to the unshaded region, right? And an example of this would be uh, three to three to five, right? That's shaded to unshaded. All right, and it says ratios are equal when their, when their fractions are equivalent, right? Uh, so to represent this as a fraction, this is in the ratio form with the colon. This would be three over five, right? So this is the same thing, but let's multiply this three by two and this five by two, right? We're going to end up with uh, six to 10, right? Or six over 10. So this is actually equal um, to this ratio. They're the same ratio, okay guys? Um, because the fractions are really equal. Six over 10 is equal to six, is, is equal to three over five. So they're really equal, all right? So I'll just give you an example there. All right, so let's look at unshaded to um, the total area, okay? So unshaded to the total area would be in the ratio, uh, there are five unshaded regions to eight um, regions for the total area, right? So this can be represented as five over eight, Right, and an equivalent of that would be uh, 10 to 16. It would be also be the same, right? And another example is uh, the shaded region to uh, the total area, right? And there are three shaded regions to eight, which is the total area. Um, so this would be our or three over eight, right? And it's equivalent to six, oh, six to 16, right? Uh, these are the same as well. So I'll just give you examples of um, when the fractions are equivalent, it's, it's the same. And the order really matters in ratios, guys. Like it really, really matters. So let's say, for example, I had total area to um, shaded right, and to the shaded region, and that's the, that's the ratio. The ratio wouldn't be the same as, as this. It would actually be eight to three, cool, um, or eight over three. So I'm just trying to show you that the order matters. Just because the order is different here, right, just because they have the same values, sorry, um, doesn't mean that it's the same. What You have to write it in the order it's written. So shaded to total area is 3 to 8, and total area to shaded is 8 to 3. It's not the same. These are not the same, guys. 3 over 8 and 8 over 3 are not the same. All right? So the order really matters. Always follow the order they gave you, all right, for the questions. Cool? All right, so let's look at some examples now. 
All right, guys, great. So let's look at this example now. It says in a football academy, there are 60 members of which 24 are attackers, right? And yeah, of which 24 are attackers. That's enough information. And it says determine the ratio of attackers to total num total members, okay? So there's 60 members. And guys, obviously, if there are 24 attackers, then there must be 60 minus 24 would leave us with 36 other players. And clearly the other 36 players are defenders, all right? Um, so let's just put that in the question as well. Assume other players are defenders. All right, let me just be clear. Let's be as clear as possible. All right, cool. So, all right, so let's start the question now. So it says determine the ratio of attackers to total members, right? So remember there are how many attackers? 24. And we're going to put the ratio sign to uh, 60 total members. So that's the same thing as 24 over 60. Um, but we notice 12 can go into 24, which leaves 2. And 12 can go into 60, which leaves 5. So the best way to write this is 2 to 5. I want it broken down as small as possible. Cool. All right. So the next question now uh, says defenders to attackers. So we know there are 36 defenders, right? So this is 24 to 36, right? 24 to 36, which is the same thing as 24 over 36. 12 can go into 24 makes 2. 12 can go into 36 makes 3. So we end up with 2 to 3 for that question. All right. Let's just label these. One, two, three, and four, right? So we're gonna do three down here. Go up there, kind of getting packed up. And we're doing defenders to total members. So it's 36 defenders to 60 total members. And if we represent this in a fraction, that's 36 over 60. And 12 can go into 36 three times. 12 can go into 65 times. We're going to end up with 3 to 5. Cool. Um, right. And we like to put the ratio in the smallest form as possible. Okay. Then we have total members to attackers, which is 60 to 24. So in this case, um, you notice the order is, is really important. So we'll have 60 over 24. So we're going to end up with 12 can go into 24, leave 2. 12 can go into 60, leave 5, and we end up with 5 to 2 in this example. All right? Awesome, guys. So we're going to do one more example of ratios, okay? Okay, guys. So in a Spanish class, they have two types of students, beginner and intermediate, right? There are 40 beginner students and 20 intermediate students, right? So 40 beginner... 40 beginners and 20 intermediate, right? And it says find the ratio of intermediate to beginner, um, beginner to total students, intermediate to total students. All right. So let's just solve that, right? It shouldn't be too, should be easy. Um, so there are 20 intermediate students, 20 to uh, 40 beginners, right? And we're going to represent that re represent that in a fraction. So that's 20 over 40, right? Um, which would be 20 can go into 40 two times. So you end up with 1 over 2, which is the same thing as 1 to 2, all right? Then the next one um, is beginner to total students. So clearly the total students is 20 plus 40, which would be 60, right? So total is equal to 20 plus 40, which is 60, right? Then we have uh, 40 beginner students to the total 60, right? Which would be 
40 over 60. 20 can go into 42 times and 20 can go into 63 times. So we we'll end up with 2 over 3, which is the same thing as 2. All right, let's put that or here, which is the same thing as 2 to 3, okay, at its lowest form. Then the last question here, it's intermediate to total students. So there are 20 intermediate students to the total, which is 60, right? We can represent that as a fraction, which is 20 over 60. 20 can go into 63 times. So you have one here and three there. So I end up with one over three. And as a ratio, this is represented as one to three. All right, guys. Okay. So we can see that ratios are really easy. Um, and remember that the order matters. And we can move on. Remember to do the worksheet and I'll see you in the next lecture. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.